Three out of four engineering graduates ditch engineering right after graduation, or so the internet says. But is this actually true? Is your degree a one-way ticket to an exciting, yes! prosperous engineering career, or launch pads into something completely different? Today, we're diving into exactly that. First, we'll see if this statistic is even based in reality. Then we'll find out what non-engineering jobs these three and four graduates even end up at. And most importantly, we're going to bring to life your true odds of landing a real engineering job right after you get your degree according to the cold hard statistics. And as always, I'll give you my take as a career electrical engineer. I'm Engineer Joe, welcome to Engineering Insiders. Now, if you've been around the engineering dark web, you've probably seen the statistic that 75% of STEM majors don't end up in their field of study, which, if you follow the breadcrumbs, leads back to data from the US Census Bureau, which is a legit source and pretty scary. After all, engineering is notorious for being one of the most expensive college degrees, averaging $120,000 to graduate and leaving students an average of $25,000 to $30,000 in debt. And honestly, for what? For a one in four chance at an engineering career? That is totally insane. I know that this can be frustrating, but there is a bit of smoke and mirrors at play here. Let's peek behind the curtain to see what's really going on. After some digging, I found data from a New York Federal Reserve study that proves that engineering graduates have an average unemployment rate of 3%, one of the lowest of all college majors, which naturally begs the question, which statistic is lying? Is engineering this prosperous holy land of absurd salaries, life-altering benefits, and an awesome, engaging career, or a 25% chance at one? Well, to my surprise, both are true. Now, let me show you why this actually makes sense. So, New York Federal Reserve's data tells us that yes, only about 3% of engineers are unemployed, but that an average of 22% are underemployed, meaning that they work part-time or are in jobs that don't require their crazy expensive and hard-earned engineering degrees. Now, this starts to even the statistical playing field, but you might have noticed that the numbers still don't add up. Unemployment plus underemployment accounts for about 20 to 30 percent of engineers not making it to full-time roles. But our eye-gouging statistic has it up to 75 percent. Where is the disconnect here? Well, and this is the key point here, the US Census Bureau's data, the source of this one in four claim, is reflecting all STEM majors. Yes, engineering, but also chemistry, geology, physics, and more fields. Obviously, this is not exactly what we're after. What we really want here is to look at how many engineering graduates have engineering jobs. So I sifted through the Bureau's data to find that from a grand total of 1.54 million engineering graduates, nearly 1.1 million of them ended up in engineering. So some quick differential equations shows us that yes, about 71% of engineering graduates do end up as engineers, giving us a relatively nice fit with the Federal Reserve's 20 to 30% un and underemployed. So aha! The answer is no, you do not have a 25% chance at becoming an engineer. You have about a 70% chance, which I don't know about you, but somehow doesn't feel a whole lot better. I mean, honestly, four long years of your life, dedicated day in and day out, countless hours of high stress and no pay. And not only that, but some massive system is taking over $100,000 straight from your pocket. All for a 30% chance of not even becoming an engineer? Nah, man, that is one insane risk that honestly, I didn't really know before I took on these massive loans. And reminds me of a disastrous point in my degree and the secret behind how I turned it around and ended up with multiple engineering job offers. So there was a point in my degree where I applied to over 50 internships in just a month or two. Wanna know how many responses I got? Zero. No emails, no text, and no interviews. Meanwhile, I watched my classmates land internship after internship, feeling that painful question creeping in. Do I even belong in engineering? 
But here's the crazy part. That entire struggle was completely avoidable. I was just a few key insights away from flipping everything around, from being ignored to getting recruiter calls, interviews, and actual job offers. So what changed? Honestly, I just hit a breaking point. I was done being ghosted. I decided to take control of my career instead of waiting around for someone to just give me a chance. I went all in, experimenting, testing, and studying what actually works. And what I discovered completely transformed my results. I went from sending out countless applications with a 0% response rate to applying to just five companies and landing two full-time salary job offers before I even graduated. That gave me leverage, the power to negotiate a higher salary and actually choose my career path instead of just desperately signing to whatever company would take me. And this strategy is exactly what I coach in the Engineering Insider's Offer Playbook. But I know this type of stuff is not for everybody. So to get you started on this stuff right now, I've put together a completely free step-by-step -step plan that walks you through the same foundation that changed everything for me. And exactly what I walked through with my students, linked in the description below, again, completely for free. Seriously, if you wanna skip the terrors of the application process and learn these hard fought lessons from a real engineer who was in your shoes, figured it out the hard way, and use this exact strategy to land a mid six figure role only three years out of college, check out this 100% free resource that I'm putting a lot of work into so that you don't have to. All right, and now that we absolutely made sure that you're on the employed and healthy end of this statistic, Let's check in on the other 30%. So remember that the Census Bureau's data took in about 1.5 million engineering students with about 1.1 million entering engineering careers, leaving us with about a third of the engineering population with their careers unmapped. So where are they going? Well, about 5% go into business, which yes, super vague, but this mainly consists of management analysts, finance and financial analysts, account managers, and some other boring careers career titles, but nearly just as many are spread into the science and engineering related fields, which is a huge bucket basically of all different types of technicians, CAD specialists, health technologists, and any other tech specialist you can think of. Now, we have another two groups similarly sized going into physical science and the computers, mathematics, and statistics careers, which I'm afraid will very swiftly disappear from the impending AI cleanup. Now, that was about 300 of the 500,000 other graduates, with the remaining 200 spread evenly throughout these fields. Now remember to check out that free resource to apply smarter not harder and check out this video because the YouTube algorithm is an engineering marvel. Now thanks for watching and happy engineering everybody!